So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to to draw your your base of your car, and that's basically the wheels. So I start out drawing my axles first, and what I do with my axles is I draw. Um, they also act as my uh, perspective guidelines. So I'm drawing my first ellipse here, and this is uh, showing how the the minor axis, which is the short one, the first one that I drew lines up 90 degrees to the major axis which is the longest and that's the top to the bottom of the uh, ellipse and then if you notice I'll draw a lot of wheels in between my other wheels not only are the wheels um, act as your perspective guidelines when you draw the axle but they also give you uh, um, proportions uh, when you draw a side view of a car, you can actually measure the whole car just by drawing wheels. And then when you draw it in perspective, you draw the same amount of wheels, you know, uh, distance apart, uh, width-wise. So this car is approximately four wheels from the front to the back in between the... In be there's four wheels in between the front wheel and the back wheel. So that tells how long the car is. Then the width, on average, a car is about two and a half to three wheels wide. Um, and then it depends also on the kind of car you're drawing. If you're drawing a sports car, you know, that's kind of the rule. But if you're drawing like a tank or a big semi-truck or something like that, you know, they can actually be a little bit wider. So <clears throat> I get my guidelines down, and it really helps me. Uh, it helps me figure out where the other side of the the car is and where the other wheels go and I always draw you know all my guidelines so that uh, I know where everything lines up and that gives you a good solid sketch that way instead of just drawing um, lines and hoping that you're getting the perspective right I even that line there is uh, basically my my midline that's the middle of the car so I know where things line up and then I'm gonna draw another perspective just to show you how you just always use this rule always 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 and see here I actually drew my wheel first so then I draw my axle through the the minor axis so there's my minor axis there and then continuing across and that's my axle and then draw my major guideline so that's my major axis this is my minor axis so that's the shortest distance on the the oval and then this is the longest distance on the oval and basically that helps you get your correct um, tilt on the wheel I know a lot of times I think uh, uh, people just guess at what the wheels should look like, but this gives you a guideline on how you need to lay down your car. And I always draw my cars um, drawing the wheels first because it's, it, it acts as a perspective device as well as a proportion device. And you need both of those things when you're, when you're sketching your vehicles. So then I draw you know the axle again and then I draw the top and the bottom of the tire and where they meet and this here uh, just to explain a little bit degrees on wheels the mid wheel is the always the closest one to you which is the middle um, degree of the wheel and the degrees are in reference to when you use circle templates so the mid is usually um, obviously the middle of all the the other two wheels so then you have the farthest wheel which is the most open and you only worry about that wheel if it's an open wheel car because you'll see that wheel on the other side and then the narrowest is your most skinniest uh, wheel it's that it, you see less of the surface area and then so the mid is usually approximately about 45 40 to 45 degrees and then to the back is about a 15, 10 to 15 degree difference. And usually those are about 25 to 20 degree um, wheel in the back. And then the other, the most open is about 50 to 55. So all the wheels are about 10 to 15 degrees difference. 
and you'll learn that stuff by using circle templates and this here this is I'm just showing that this is always 90 degrees on the major and the minor axis so this is your major axis then this is your minor axis always remember that rule major minor major minor and you'll always if you get this rule down you'll always have your wheels lined up right and it'll also line up the rest of your car right and so that's your uh, and your minor axis is always your axle It'd help if I could spell it right so that's your axle and when you lay down your axle and your wheels that gives basically a good grid to go off and you can start sketching in any shape you want you know that's the the nice thing of it so that's the tutorial and I hope you um, got something out of it and learned something out of it and uh, use it and you'll get a lot better at your sketches and your proportions will be more right on Thank you very much.